truly, Portland is blessed by its sight and scenery. All my life I've lived here, raised my family. Oh, it's changed some. Our old house is now a parking lot, but still, well, it's still not a big city. After the third child came along, we decided we'd just have to move out of town and find a place of our own with some trees and space. There's no doubt that we're conservative here. That's our way. It always has been. I've been to California, and we don't want that kind of thing to happen here. It is a little far to drive every day, but when I get home at night and on weekends, I'm in my own little world. Out here, you'd never know there's a big city just a few miles away. And I don't miss living in the city. I've got the best of both worlds. Located on the Willamette River, near its confluence with the mighty Columbia, the area is blessed with a year-round equitable climate. Evenly distributed rainfall makes the Rose City the northern gateway of a green valley of farms, orchards, dairies, and timbered tracks. Well, what other place is so pleasant? You get used to the rain, and it makes it so clean and green. But I do wish I could get out in the country like I used to. What have we done with our cities? Here's one example, one church and its surroundings. What should concern us is that every change we make today, every new house, apartment, office, freeway, and bridge we build today, will still be standing in the year 2000. We shape our cities, and then they shape us. The freeways certainly have made a difference. Except for rush hours, I can get most any place in 20 minutes or half an hour. Portland's most cherished heritage is the Bull Run water supply, which has been protected carefully and developed prudently over a period of some 65 years. water is so pure that it can be put directly into automobile batteries, a fact which never fails to awe the tourists from less richly endowed sections of our country. Therefore, maintenance of water in a reasonably pure and usable condition appears to be a socially accepted goal.
I can still get most everywhere I want to go on my own, but it's such a fuss. If I didn't have plenty of time on my hands, I don't know what I'd do. The thing I like about the economy here is that it's so solid. I mean, there's growth and progress and there's plenty of opportunity. But we have a stability you don't find in other places. I guess it's always been this way. Metropolitan Portland employment in November 1966 totaled approximately 344,000. Wholesale and retail continue to form the largest part of the workforce. Manufacturing follows. Each year, the Portland area suffers several million dollars in damage as a result of air pollution. It has been determined that approximately 900 tons of air pollutants are emitted each day during the heating season. 480 tons are from commercial and industrial processes, domestic heating, and trash burning. 420 tons are from vehicles. We cannot continue to pollute our environment, water, air, or natural beauty, and continue to exist. The fire department will issue burning permits today. Portland has maintained a reputation for steady, planned development. This steadiness is reflected in the great percentage of Portlanders who own their own homes. Cottages and mansions alike boast well-kept gardens. And the reason it continues to exist is that it is a locale for shared human activities. Rapid urbanization of the area has created serious problems affecting the health, safety, and welfare of the population. Congested environments, even though polluted, ugly, and heartless, are compatible with economic growth and political power, but they damage the physical and spiritual aspects of human life. Three counties, 16 cities, 69 water districts, 34 sewage districts, 32 fire protection districts, Two park and recreation districts serve the 715,000 people in the metropolitan area. There are over 800 elected officials. Careful examination of local government indicates that the complexity of structure of local government has given rise to much confusion and interjurisdictional conflict. Behind me you see Johnson Creek. Today it is quite tame, but it is subject to flash floods, which do a tremendous amount of damage to property in this area, and it can be fixed. It's a damn shame that it isn't fixed, because all this territory in here 
could be used for multiple purposes, such as parks for recreation, indust industrial sites for industry, and homes that would carry their fair share of the tax load. We have formed a citizens committee. We have worked industriously. We have gone to Salem to our legislature. We have got the laws changed. We have conferred with the different departments in Washington. And we haven't got the local support due to the fact that we have two counties, which is Clackamas and Monona County. We have three cities, which is Gresham, Portland, and Milwaukee. And the officials of these different local governments don't seem to be able to get together to take care of this minor situation here, which would correct this permanently. I don't know why that the officials and the local governments here can't get together and work for the benefit of the people instead of being so damn pig-headed about it. Truly, Portland is blessed by its sight and scenery. It's such a pleasant place. A real family town. And it can be fixed.